great. Yeah, I'm serious. What you were, was that the bourbon singing last night? Or was that you? You can come off of mute today. We don't want you on mute today. We want you off of mute. Oh, you got us on live? Lord. This is an open mic session. Yeah, we got to document who knows Christmas trivia and who doesn't. <laughs> well, now you eliminate all the jesting and fooling around. Oh, nice letter, Paul. Thanks. <laughs> Let's so see the sweater there. I heard David sing. He has a beautiful voice. The only problem is <sighs> I've only heard him at funerals. <laughs> I, never cool, thought I, would, I never thought I would see Paul Walter wear something like that. I didn't either. Whoa, never different. That's, that's cool. <laughs> hey, I even have my lights that go on and my jingle bells. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. And I hate to say, not to be religious here, but I got these from the church and they say jingle for Jesus. So, All right, cool. No, you're not supposed to say Jesus, and I'm sorry for that, but I'm just reading all right. things. Yeah, I mean, it's More a power name. To you. <laughs> it's a noun. It's a person's name. That's right. Good said, hey, soon. I gotta run. <laughs> I gotta run to the lobby of the bank real quick. I'll be right back. All right. So let's kick it off. We're already live and we're already recording. So welcome to your final C wrap of 2020. We're gonna do some Christmas trivia, and I believe at the end we have a prize for the ugliest sweater. Um. So. Who's ready? Anybody ready? ready now, when I, when I call out a question, don't immediately shout out an answer. Just like raise your hand like that. I'll see you because I see everybody on the screen. I'm okay. yelling out my answers. No shouting out your answer. I'm yelling out my answers. <laughs> well, okay. You're going to just break the rules then, aren't you, Mary? So. Yeah. Rule breaker. Rule breaker. Okay. There you go. If we cannot get the first question, the Christmas trivia is off. Okay. <laughs> so, Susan, are we going to be in the weeds today or not? <laughs> High confidence. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. So here we go. Wait till the full question is said before you raise your hand because I got to come. I'm looking at a different screen. So, all right. Here we go. What are the two most popular names for Santa Claus? Danny Brooks. Santa Claus and St. Nicholas. Anybody else? Chris Kringle. Chris Kringle and what? Santa Claus. Oh, St. Nick. St. Nick. Yeah, and St. Nick. Chris, Chris Kringle and St. Nick. Correct. Yeah. Chris Kringle and St. Nick. I said the two most popular names for Santa Claus. So Santa Claus can't be named Santa Claus. I already was in the name of the question there. Here we go. All right. Which popular Christmas beverage is also called milk punch? Eggnog. One. Can't shout out your answer. Mary Gask. You've already said it. Eggnog. Okay. Remember, I have to, I'm looking at a different screen. I'll, I'll save everybody on the screen. Eggnog. Oh. Who's got it? Who's got it on the phone? All right. Okay. I hear I hear it in the background. Somebody's got it going on there, but okay. Now I put it on live. I'm sorry. I'm lowering it. I just okay. want to. I want to share it. Gotcha. What did gotcha. the other reindeer not let Rudolph do because of his shiny red nose? Danny Brooks. Play in any reindeer games. You got it. <laughs> You're so smart. He's how, many, how many ghosts show up in a Christmas carol? Uh, let's go to iPad 4 down there. Jane, you got to come off a of mute, though. Bottom left corner of your iPad. There's a little thing that says mute. Can you do it, Donald? No. Show by your number of hands, Jane. She did it. She got it. Up. Oh, nope. Stay. Up. Nope. Got it. How many? 
Three. Up. Oh, who else? Another guess. Danny Brooks, you had your hand up. Four. Gary Moore. Yep, four. There oh. you go. There's four. All right, once again, guys, don't shout out your answer, okay? Mary. Keep it to where, because if you shout it out, somebody else shouts it out. Um, it's going to be a weird sound on Zoom. Okay, where was baby Jesus born? Bob Gross. Um, Bethlehem. You got it, sir. Thank you. Good, correct answer. I've been there. All right, so uh, let's see here. Technically, it was a manger in Bethlehem. Were you there? Is that what you actually, said? Actually, actually, it wasn't. Actually, it was a. It was. It was sort of a cave. It, it was carved out of a rock. Mm -hmm. Been there. Were you one of the wise men, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was from the West. Is that an old no. joke? And Paul wanted to know if you were actually there. You do not deserve this kind of treatment from these people. <laughs> I wasn't there at the time. No, not at the time. <laughs> hey, Bob, tell him you'll be governor one day and you'll come back. Payback is tough, guys. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're allowed to laugh, right? Of course. Oh, not out loud. Right. You have Just... to mute yourself if you're going to laugh. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stay on mute. Because Bob, because I'm Bob. <laughs> All right. Good one, Bob. All right. So the movie Miracle on 34th Street. On 34th Street. I haven't said the question yet. Y'all hear oh, you already answered. I told you I read all the trivia questions. <laughs> I thought you wanted to know where it was filmed. I know. Nope. 34th Street. It's based on a real life department store. Me. Of Cary oh. Grant. Macy's. Yes, sir. Macy's, it is. Yeah. Or Jimmy Stewart. Who played in that? Jimmy Stewart? Mm -hmm. It was his life story. Hey, Donald? Yes. My, no, my grandmother Stewart. was on, she was on the, the NYPD pickpocket squad in Macy's. And that's what she did for a living for many, many, many years. Wow. So. Who? A cool story. My grandmother. My grandmother. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Another Christmas. Is that a trivia question, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> Your grandmother. We should add it for next year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who's seen Home Alone? The original. Right? So the McAllisters yes. leave Kevin behind. Where are they going when they leave Kevin behind? Susan. Paris. Paris. You got it. All right. Just remember, guys, don't shout out your answer. Raise your hand. Shout out your answers. It's okay. Hey, but I, I try to be fair here. If somebody calls it out, I wanted to call on somebody that's got their hand raised over here. I think oh. you should go with the loudest and the most obnoxious. Let them just shout. It's like a classroom. You got a bunch of kids in here. Let them play. <laughs> we're doing better than we did at Halloween. Yes, we're, we are winning already. I know. I'll, I'll I know. turn the program at this time over to Mary Gask. Mary, run the program. <laughs> I don't have any trivia. All right. I'll just laugh through it. Another Christmas movie. In the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, what happened every time a bell rang? An angel, An angel got its wings. An angel got its wings. Can we remove, can we put Mary Gask in a breakout room or something here? <laughs> I'll go on mute. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Hollywood actor played six different roles in the Polar Express. Paul Walter. Tom Hanks. You got it. Off movies for now. Here we go. Which country did eggnog come from? Susan. Great Britain. Tell England. me another name. England. There you go, England. Ah, da, 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 da. Which real life person is Santa Claus based on? David. St. Nicholas. You got it. What did he say? St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas. Bishop St. Nicholas. 
Which one of Santa's reindeer has the same name as another holiday mascot? Rudolph. Uh, Paul Oops. Walker. Cupid. You got it. Cupid. All right. Who knows about the uh, the twelve days of Christmas? What do, they, what do they say on the eighth day? Tom Moore. Eight maids of milk. You got it. Eight maids of milk. How many gifts in total were given during the 12 days of Christmas song? Paul Walter. 78. Anybody? I'm going to count it. It doesn't count. <laughs> I think. Pauline. I think. I think I memorized that. 364. I think she's the only one that went no. on trivia, guys. You got it right. 364. Okay. I told you I did it. Lord, I'm worn out now. It's a lot. It's it doesn't. It's stuck in my mind because it was really a lot more than I had. Okay, the next song. Uh, the next answer is the name of the song. Uh, hold on a second here. Let me let me look back at the question. It's a two part question, I think. Yeah. So I need the name of the song and who it's by. Okay. What is the best selling Christmas song ever? Mary, you White got your Christ name? White Christmas Bing Crosby. You got it. That's right. White Christmas Bing Crosby. Now everyone ought to know this. What was the first company to use Santa Claus in an advertisement? Mary Macy's? No. Coca Cola. Correct. I tell you. We put rules out there that say don't shout out the answer <laughs> and somebody gets it wrong and another person shouts it out. <laughs> you guys are very My eager. To, <laughs> I know you guys are very eager to get your answer out there. He's <laughs> eating the eggnog already. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. You and I will be muted. We're no. just trying to make up for Halloween. I know. It was bad. Yeah. Mary, since I'm the host, I can make the rules. If they have already shouted out an answer, they no, they no longer can win the ugliest sweater contest. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. That eliminates one, two, three. <laughs> already. Eliminates all of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With that said, then we can just everybody shout because it's nobody can win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? There's more than there's more than four people on this call. All right, here we go. I'm going back to the top of my list here, guys. <laughs> Whose eyes are aglow in the Christmas song? <laughs> David Gerard. Children's. Children's okay. eyes are aglow. Another name. Yes. <laughs> Tiny Tots. Oh! He's eliminated a second time. <laughs> Tiny Tots. What's the answer? Tiny Tots. Okay. Elvis isn't going to have a white Christmas. He's going to have a what Christmas? Ooh. Oh, blue, blue Christmas, Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Okay, this one you can shout it out because I'm sure by the time I even you know don't even get to the end of the question, somebody's going to say something. So, what do people traditionally put on top of a Christmas tree? Oh, oh. angel. Oh, angel. Bob Gross. Bob Gross got it. <laughs> angel. I would think star too, David, but um star goes on mine. I think that's kind of a toss up really. Yeah. You got some bad trivia, Donald. 
Wow. Okay. We're I'm gonna... taking over. We're, we're making it a star. Change that answer. <laughs> this is a tough crowd here. This is a tough <laughs> crowd. Um, here, I'm going to go. I'm going to a different website then. Okay. Go to Pauline's website. She'll be yeah. in 182 uh, questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we mute Pauline's line? Because I'm on 182 questions. <laughs> Who was the star of the Christmas movie, Jingle All the Way? Tim Allen. I don't know. That's not my eye. Now, if she went on 182 questions, then this is question number one on the 182 questions. <laughs> well, that's why by the time I got, out, I got done, I remember she the got first the one. Days of Christmas All program. right. Uh, John Travolta. No. J Jingle I don't even on. jingle all the way. Um, I got everybody stumped here. This is the first one. I don't know, but I poked myself in the eyes. So no, I'm, I'm, not Jim Carrey. Nope. I'm not crying. I poked myself jingle in the eyes. Jingle all the way. Hmm. Give us his all the way. I don't know that one. Alexa, who started in Jingle All the Way? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Don't ask Alexa. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh oh. You never saw it. Did you hear? Which Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. Okay, who is oh, the, here, wait a minute. Here, the The thing is, is Alexa smarter than us? So let that be something you hang on to for the rest of the day. Who is the author of A Christmas Carol? David. Uh, Dickens. Yes, sir. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, yeah. Okay, what bad guy did Rudolph have to avoid? Pauline, this is on the 182 questions. Sandy Brooks. Yeah, yeah. The Grinch. Okay. Not no, the, the Grinch. No. no. Um, Van Dyke. What was his name? Um, in the movie. Oh, mm -hmm. Paul's on it, I think. Paul's on it. It was either the abominable snowman or the oh, guy. Oh, what'd you say? Dyke. What'd you say? The abominable snowman. There you go. That's it. Really? Mm. Pulled his teeth out. What? What kind of horror story have y'all watched? <laughs> have you not seen the yeah. classic? Have you not seen that classic movie? Obviously no. not. I don't remember Rudolph getting his teeth pulled. No, the abominable snowman pulled. Got his teeth pulled. Oh. oh. Come on, you you got to look it up, Mary. Watch it. It's it's great. I, I watch it every year. I think it was by the elf that wanted to be the dentist. <laughs> oh, who are you? <laughs> I have kids. <laughs> we watch it. All right. I asked you a question the other night. Let me repeat that. Are you on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did just get this, so maybe I was a little early. <laughs> yeah, there you uh, go. No, it's who, never too early. Who plays uh, Who plays George Bailey in <laughs> It's a Wonderful Life? Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Third time. That ugly guy. I can't remember. Mary's on restrictions. Jimmy Stewart. Oh, she already said it. She already said it, yeah. I said it silently. <laughs> he heard it. <laughs> that was your outside voice. My outside voice. Use my inside voice. Okay. What does Santa say at the end of a visit from St. Nicholas book? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> And it's a joke. Um, I think it's. Oh, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Another answer? Mm. Oh, say, say it again, but not with Mary. Not with Mary. How about happy Christmas to all and happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. 
captivity of her jacket. She wants to be where she's needed most. At I don't know what that is, but I'm getting off that website. Like three <laughs> there was a video <laughs> on the trivia page. So, Pauline, I think your uh, 182 question thing is uh, a bad website. <laughs> That's why I can't answer any questions. <laughs> he wants to be where everybody else can't be. <laughs> oh, okay. Friends. <laughs> okay. I don't really expect someone to get this dead on, but... Um, I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> uh, I, I doubt... I literally... If somebody gets like this close, I, I will be... Um, I will be very surprised. Okay. How many packages does the United States Postal Service, not UPS, not FedEx, deliver mm -hmm. between Thanksgiving and Christmas Day? Bob Gross. 20 million. Anybody else? Sandy. 50 million. You guys, you guys are honestly nowhere close. That, oh, I'm sorry. That now, was. Are these, a, are these the ones that actually make it to the destination or the ones that they try to ship back? <laughs> are we talking about actual or not actual? Actual. That's 20 million a day. That's 20 million a day, Don, Donald. You're, you're exactly correct on that. So. 60 mil, 600 million. You're closer. Million. Oh. Eight, think, Carl? 800 million. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. Thomas spoke people around. Averaging, wow. averaging 20 million a day. Okay, here we go. This is a true or false. I'm muting. Jingle Bells was always intended to be a Christmas song. Oh, what? Intended to be a Christmas oh. song. Bob is shaking his head. What do you use your answer, sir? My answer is what it says right here on my screen in front of me. So, so I'm not going to answer it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? <laughs> I happened to go to a, to a, a different site, and, uh, and you started asking the same question. So. so I'm saying it's true since he said it was false. Well, <laughs> it, it is correctly false. False. And and, and 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 where was it pinned? <laughs> well, since uh, since he's uh, since he yeah, since he's looking at the page, where was it? Uh, where was it pinned? Anybody? Not far from here. Uh, Terry Moore, New York City. No. Hmm. Sandy Brooks. North Carolina? Nope. Charleston, South Carolina. Come on now, Bob. Don't give everybody the answer there. I'm just that helping them. Florida. Sandy Brooks. Sandy Brooks. Far. Georgia. Okay, what, what part of Georgia? Atlanta. The island. Bacon. Savannah. Oh, yeah, Paul Walter. He's eliminated, though, y'all. So, boom. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Bob, you have to go back to Bethlehem because you're cheating. <laughs> That's not the four-way test. Paul said that. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Jingle Bells was written in Savannah? According to this, it says, the now classic holiday tune Jingle Bells was written in the mid-19th century by James Pierpoint while he experienced a bout of homesickness while living in Savannah, Georgia. So he's homesick and he's writing about bells? What is wrong with this dude? <laughs> but it wasn't supposed to be a Christmas song. Can I, can I take a time out? I want to say Merry Christmas to Johnny Robertson, Bill Rowe, and Terry Egan watching on Facebook Live. Very good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining us. Uh, was Christmas ever outlawed in America? Yes or no? 
Sandy Brook. No. Uh, it's it's so yes. I think it was yes. There was a couple of towns that did it that I would them. Though you may find it surprising, the answer is yes. From 1659 to 1681, the Puritans did not allow Christmas to be celebrated, going so far as to officially outlaw celebrating the date. Christmas was designated a national holiday until almost two centuries later in 1870. Wow. Those crazy Puritans. Okay. True or false? George Washington loved eggnog. That's why the river when he crossed. It is. It is. It is true. Tom. Sorry. My father even had his own boozy recipe where he forgot to note the number of eggs needed because it included. The instruction taste frequently. <laughs> That's why everyone volunteered to make the eggnog. <laughs> All right, here we go. This this one this this is a good one here. What two things made red and green popular? What two things? What two things made red and green popular Christmas colors? Harry Morris. Harry's Christmas. Harry's sweater. Sandy? Uh, cranberries. But I'm not sure about the green. Mistletoe. Cranberries and mistletoe. Tom. Uh, wild berries and greenery. Evergreen. Hmm. Doesn't missile you have to answer. Pauline, you were trying to answer. Well, I was, I was, yeah, I was along the same line. So if that's not the answer, but how about this? How about Christmas trees? Oh, yeah. Susan's got it. Susan. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm just going to wow. read it now. I'm just going to read it now. Holly and, and Coca Cola. <laughs> Holly and Coca-Cola, would you believe it? While the tradition of red and green holly dates back to Roman winter solstice celebration, the Coca-Cola company also played a role. The, so the soda makers popularized the plump and jolly suit-wearing Santa in an ad in 1931. There you mm. go. You should make it Coca-Cola and Jello. I like that. I like vodka mm. and Jello. Vodka and Jello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, vodka and Jello. As we digress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will go for five more minutes. You five. know, we've lost Jane. She hung up on us. She got tired of it. Look at Tom. Oh. <laughs> How many Americans buy artificial Christmas trees? What percentage too, too of Americans? Many. Percentage, not million. Too many okay. percentage. Sandy. 40%. I think it's higher. David. 30%. What did you say? 30%. No, sir. Let's speak up. Terry. I think about 65. No, sir. Mm. Pauline. 78%. Oh, are you cheating again? <laughs> yes, he's cheating. I don't know. I just went higher. 88%. <laughs> well, you were the closest, so we'll reveal the answer of 80%. Okay. All right. Well. And I'm there's one in your background, Donald. I'm going to a different website because Bob <laughs> is cheating. We know who's on the naughty list. <laughs> naughty. Naughty, He's naughty. with you and me, Paul, for answering out loud. Yeah. Donald, and Terry, to... Terry's bragging. Terry's bragging. He's naughty on his sleeve. Well, you know what? That leaves only Susan and David here to play the game. You no, know, Tom, I think Tom's been pretty good. Sandy's been good. She's been following the rules. I'll so say this like good I said. Good job, Sandy. And for me putting up with y'all, I ought to win the prize. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's true. Okay, we got four more questions. Uh, 
the Griswolds live in the suburb of what city? Hearing more. Chicago? Yes, sir. Chicago. Why did Cousin Eddie quit eating squirrel? Ooh. Christmas story. Hold on. Um. Andy Brooks. Must have got a piece of buckshot? No. I'm on the non Bob Gross site right now, so. <laughs> I'm looking, looking, I'm looking. He's researching. Find it quick, researching. Bob. <laughs> I think they ran out of squirrels. He killed them all, so they had to go to something else. Susan knows. Susan knows. Susan. The cholest high cholesterol. Yes, yes, yes. You got it right. <laughs> high cholesterol. What? <laughs> she watches this movie every Christmas. <laughs> and I like oh, All right. I watch it too, but I couldn't remember. And I'm, yeah. Okay. What does Linus here, Mary? This is this is the movie you need to watch. Write it down. A Charlie Brown Christmas. You need to watch this. This is where uh, the what's his face gets his teeth knocked out or whatever. What does Linus? Y'all, I'm more into Die Hard with Bruce Willis, but I'll go ahead and do Charlie Brown if you think I should. <laughs> what, what does Linus think the snowflakes need when he catches them on his tongue in a Charlie Brown Christmas? Uh, leave that out. They are all Say that again. What does Linus think he needs to catch the uh, snowflakes on his tongue in a Charlie Brown Christmas? A what snowflake catcher. Hey, we're all diehard fans. Ask us some Bruce Willis diehards. We'll let you know. <laughs> How about sugar? How about sugar, y'all? Need some sugar to get some snowflakes. Ah, uh, I was going to say Four. chocolate. Two more questions. Why does, why does Santa shake his belly? Because Bruce Willis is pointing a gun at him and telling him to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let, me, let me repeat the question. How does Santa's belly shake? Like jello. Like a bowl full of jello. See, now Sandy Brooks is eliminated. That's right. <laughs> if everyone's been eliminated. <laughs> Susan and David have not been eliminated. They're being, and Tom has not been eliminated. The rest That's of us right. watching still. I think they're sitting on their hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last question. Last question, and it's the first time I've mentioned the Grinch all day. Uh oh. So who caught the Grinch stealing everything? Paul. Huh. Bruce Willis. Cindy Lou Who. Yes, sir. Cindy Lou Who. Good job on Christmas trivia, guys. I will. Uh, I'll conclude with the uh, announcements. Obviously, this is our last C-Wrap of 2020. We'll be back on Monday, January 4th, with Joseph Bonino talking about cybersecurity. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and, uh, way to kick off the year, right? And then January 6th, Alice Alt with the U.S. Marshals Museum. Hopefully, we'll show up at the right time. Oh, I like those. I like uh, we've got to do the ugly sweater. And Paul, I tell you, you filthy animal, that looks good. <laughs> I vote for Paul. I vote for Paul. Yeah. Paul. Oh. I agree. Everyone else looks too David pretty. Is pretty good. David, let me see yours, yours and Sandy's. Got a it's on. it's got a not point. ugly, though. It's cute. Look, you I've got a bow tie and, and everything. Like you've got animals yeah, on your But I, I, I don't think David's is a sweater. It looks more like a t-shirt. No, it's a sweater. OK. Oh, what kind of, what kind of the, does he have the, on the accessories? He was given to me at a Rotary Christmas party a couple of years ago because they said you're always wearing a bow tie, so this is appropriate for. Perfect. It's cool, Paul. I'm, Good I'm, gift. I'm curious, Paul. Did somebody did did somebody give you that sweater because you earned it or what? I mean, how did you get that thing? No, I have, have to admit that last year, Jennifer and I went out to buy these and we paid good hard earned money for them. So we, we, had, we were going to an ugly sweater Christmas party. We didn't have one, although Jennifer says all my sweaters are ugly. <laughs> we're going to find a perfect 
I had to tell Can you. Can I to see it again? When I was in banking a while back, long while back now, um, one of my customers came in on Christmas Eve wearing a uh, T-shirt that said, I'm always in the four-letter work. The only thing that varies is the depth. And uh, that was very Christmassy to me. That's the funny. animal that's weird. <laughs> From home alone. From home alone. Okay, so how do we vote, Donald? You want to vote in the chat or you want to raise your hand? We can do it under reactions. We raise already, our hand. I think we already said Paul was the winner. We had four different people say Paul was the winner. So four out of, uh, what is there, nine people on here? We need one more person. Well, you count. If you don't count, there's ten. Uh, there are two of us here. One, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Miriam, ten. So if we didn't count Donald, it's ten. Miriam, okay. let's let's see your sweater, Miriam. She's got something. She's got something red and flashy. It's just a. It's just a. Oh, that's cute. A train. Really, Charles. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's cute. Oh, that is let's, cute. Let's wind it down because I know Tom Moore's got to drive to where I am. So let's uh, let's give him some time to get here. All right. All right. Let's have a vote. Everybody vote. Put your name in the chat of the winner. Mm. Everybody vote for Donald. Donald. Paul's already the winner. There's already six votes for Paul. It's over with. Done. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know. We'll get you your crown Pretty later, good. Paul. <laughs> your crown of thorns. We'll send that That's on the right. I guess we're getting something to go with that maker's mark there, Paul. So. Hey, <laughs> talking. Can I just make a quick comment about last night? Yes. Some, some of us were on the event last night with Eau Claire, and uh, they had a trivia night, which is why some of us knew some of the first questions that were coming up, because they came up last night as well. And they did very well, but there were very few on there, unfortunately, again. So. And David, I understand you have a fabulous singing voice. So let's, will you sing something? It sing good. Why are they shaking their head now? Of course, you know I'm tone deaf, but, but it did sound good to me. <laughs> well, I was, I'm only, I can only sing when I've had a couple of gins. So it's probably not the right oh, time. Oh, it's gin. Okay. All right. Sorry. It was, I liked it. Enjoy it. I thought it was a great program. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us. And uh, Donald and Terry and I have enjoyed bringing C-Rap to y'all several times a week. And we're hopefully great. we can do it next year. Not maybe as often, but still keep it going. But we appreciate your support very much. Congratulations to you. You guys Good have job, been y'all. Hope mm -hmm. you have a happy new year and um, a better new year and a Merry Christmas. Mm. Hey, Donald. Yeah. Yes, Donald, sir. I would suggest that on, on New Year's Eve, about 11.40, no, about 11.59, go in the bathroom, take a pen, and take a piece of toilet paper and write 2020 on it, and then flush it. Amen. And let's, get, and let's get this year behind us and have a better year next year. But wait a minute. Amen. I, heard, I heard that 21 was going to be pretty bad because it just now makes 20 legal. So <laughs> 21, I don't know. We shall see. All right, guys. Uh, well, that's a wrap for C Wrap for 2020. Have a wonderful uh, Christmas next Merry week. Christmas, Happy everybody. Holidays. Thank you all. Thanks for a great job. Day Merry up. Christmas. Good cheer, everyone. That's a wrap. Hi, guys.